think the first word for all of us was like we were deeply impressed and like really gobsmacked about this place. It's clear that it is a fantastic teaching environment. I mean, everyone can walk in and you can get really a first clue, an idea of what anti-doping is about. And I must say it's one of the best centers I've, I've seen uh, in the world. It is really, really, really beautiful and extremely well done. The Doping Control Officer Foundation Program is a program for beginner DCOs. It's the first time we've run the DCO Foundation course in Asia and it's great to be here in Shanghai. So it's a very busy course. They're now joining us for three days of face-to-face -face training, which is all about the practical application of being a Doping Control Officer. It's actually really interesting. A couple of months before I was watching the Australian Open and I asked myself, how do athletes actually get tested? Like, how does it happen? Do they get notified before, or is it like a surprise? <laughs> and now, like, all these questions are getting answered, and I'm learning more and more, and it's really interesting. I think that they're not just going off of the book, they're also going from their own experience. Some kind of like difficult problems might come up, and they're teaching us how to adapt to those problems, and I think it's very very good way of teaching. I used to talk like this doping test when I was an athlete, but I don't know much about this work. I know according to this plan, I definitely know more about the work and I know more about why do we need to learn this. I think this is a very compact and rich courses. I'm already a doping control officer. During these courses, we can tell from which kind of regulation that we need to improve, we need to modify it. We, how we can make us more uh, skillful and smooth our own process. I learned a lot in this program. It makes you understand exactly why it is needed. It is very, very useful. It makes sure that um, there is fair competition in sports. And then when one is declared or is pronounced as a legend, you know very well that they've passed through the test. This team of 30 DCOs are really motivated. It's clearly that they've spent lots of time learning online. They're really motivated, really enthusiastic, and they're like little sponges, just want to learn and learn and learn. First of all, the ITA is really proud to collaborate with the Shanghai University of Sport to establish this first ITA academic center. There's huge opportunities uh, to develop initiatives that really contribute to the fight against doping. Also, really the education and training opportunities of this center for not only athletes, but anti-doping workforce, doping patrol officers, clean sport educators, um, those that are really at the front line of the fight against doping in sport. State-of-the-art training facilities are being used to train the next generation of international anti-doping workforce.